Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to easily fill in your brows using two different really unique techniques that I like and have enjoyed for the past few years. If you have some eyeshadow and a small brush, then you will be able to complete this. I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you wanna know how to fill in your brows, then just continue watching. I don't do this every time, but since it needs to be done, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I have some tweezers and a little razor that I prefer to use for my eyebrows so just grab anything that works well for you and now we're going to pretty much just start filling the eyebrows in I'm gonna show you two ways that I like to do this the one side is just going to be a powder based um, fill if you just want to use a shadow or a powder. If not, you can also convert your eyeshadow into kind of like a thick liquid base and I'll show you how to do that. The brush I am using today is an angled brush on my eyeliner. Um, I don't use this to smudge out my eyeliner because it doesn't look as nice as it does on my eyebrows. I would suggest using an angled brush because you can and really work with detail and precision when doing so. Today I'm using this dark shadow by like this Clinique Duo. I love this powder because it matches my brow hair is pretty well. It is really matte so you're not getting any shine or shimmer. One thing that I would suggest staying away from is shiny or bronzy or glittery um, eyeshadows because it's going to make your brows not look as natural and we're trying to make it look as natural as possible with filling them in. I'm gonna go in with this and just pack on as much as I can with my angled brush and I'll show you how we just start working it in. So I always brush my brows up because I like the way it looks, but it also gives me a nice start to see where I need to fill in first. And I always start on the tail end of the brow. And basically you just want to use small strokes that just flick up. Um, if your brows go down or if you, you know, want your brows to be more center, you want to flick the brush whichever way the hairs actually go. So I got a lot of product on and we're just going to fl uh, make little flicks here and basically just fill in the brow. As if, um, you know, you're making little hairs. Now that we're done with that side, I really like the way it looks and it's pretty much filled in to me. Also, we're going to do like the carving with concealer afterwards, which is kind of part of the brow tutorial. You don't necessarily have to do this. On this eye, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to use the same brush and the same product. I'm adding something to this one, but um, if you don't have it, again, you don't have to do your brows this way. I'm just giving you an alternative. So I'm not at all telling you that you have to do this. What we're doing is creating our own little pomade. So whichever shadow you're using for your brows is fine. I have a tiny bit of this Morocco oil, or I don't know, Morocco, I don't know how you say it. But I'm going to add literally not even a drop. And it barely put any on there, barely. So basically it just made a little pomade and it's a little bit liquidy but it'll work perfectly fine and it's not gonna hurt you because it's just Morocco oil and it's good for you anyways. Alright, so the brows are done. You can see a little bit of a difference here in the brows and I'll show you a comparison. This is just the powder and like I said before, it's very matte and it looks a little bit more natural than the other side. That's the matte brown brow. This is the homemade pomade that we used on our eye. Um, it does look a little shiny. Now, it doesn't look bad to me. It looks fine. It looks like I used the Anastasia or NYX, whatever, brow pomade. And I have used the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow pencil. It did separate the brows a little bit more than the powder did, but 
it looks really sleek and really nice and when you use a setting spray or whatever I see this staying on for a very long time I'm just going to carve out the brows using my foundation and put a little bit of highlighter on and I'll see you guys when we're done Okay everyone, this completes today's brow tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new. Comment down below what you'd like to see next. I will be posting on Friday, so if you have any suggestions, then please let me know. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.